schools have opened up along the Oregon coast in just two weeks, and sometimes, you know, they're not a real pretty sight. And what exactly causes a sinkhole? Our Joseph Dames shows us. The effect of geological hazards on the coastal highway is immense. Highway 131 between Neatarts and Oceanside. It won't be easy to get around that. A missing chunk to the road. That's why these drivers are being diverted. So this is a pretty good sized sinkhole, but what causes everything to start sinking? I met with geologist Scott Burns who has the science behind it. Well, below it. Water is continuing to go underneath the road. It's going to cause the cavity and eventually the cavity is going to collapse and you got a big hole in the road. This was the exact case here along Highway 131. So what happens with the soil around here when it gets saturated with water it just you know, it spreads downward and now it's just you know all hollow underneath this asphalt which in terms you know makes it unsafe for drivers to drive on it. Road travel daily by coastal residents and tourists. A scene that unfortunately occurs due to all the water. It's the whole thing about the coast. Uh, the roads down there are continuously getting hammered by geological processes, whether it is rainfall or rockfall or landslides, or in this case, erosion, uh, causing the sinkhole to occur in the road. In Oceanside, Joseph Dames, Coin 6 News. And geologists say the sinkholes around here are typically caused by pipes or culverts failing, causing exposed water to weaken the ground. We've had a, some of those with the old water mains in Portland. Mm -hmm. We had one on Burnside, remember last yeah. year, and it shut mm -hmm. down Burnside over there by the Fred Meyer for a while. Yeah, they can be kind of nasty. Yeah. Hey, there's a little bit of rain.